there, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Malta. The capital of Alete is right behind me across the water. And today what I want to talk about are some of the foods you should have when you come here to Malta, because there's a lot of really good tasty treats you should have when you're here. And I think we need to start with the most important Maltese thing that you have to have, and that is pastizzi. It's a puff pastry that's stuffed with either cheese or kind of like a curry paste inside. Me personally, I like the cheese ones way better than the pea ones, but that's my choice. You should try both when you're here. You can get a lot of places when you go around, you'll see pastizzerias, but you'll see cafes that sell them, so you can grab them easy enough. Usually super cheap if you're in uh, Medina. I was there today and we went over to Revive, which is like the connects to it. There's a place there that sells for like 50 cents. I mean, you can get them. It's going to be more than that usually, but pastizzi, that's the thing you have to have when you're here. Another thing you really need to have when you come here is the goat cheese from Gozu, the, the island Gozu. It is phenomenal. You go to the store, they're going to sell them. Up. They're going to sell different currants, but like you just get like two little hard goat cheese. Oh my God, from Gozu. It is fantastic. You eat that by itself. You have it with other things. I actually had ravioli that was stuffed with the goat cheese from Gozu. It is so good. It's like next level goat cheese when you're here. You got to have that. Now, another thing you have to have when you come here, this is one of the things I love the most probably is rabbit. Yes, rabbit. Those rascally rabbits, you're going to eat those when you're here. And yes, there's stewed rabbit. You can have a leg of rabbit. You can have a loin of rabbit. Heck, I had croquettes made with rabbit in them. So rabbit is definitely a traditional dish here that you want to have. And I know for some people, like, but it's rabbit. I'm like, yeah, but the rabbits will get you. So it's better that you eat them before they eat you. Obviously, with Beaded Island, Malta has tons of fantastic seafood. You can get octopus when you're here. Octopus stew is really good. And calamari, yes. But honestly, it's the fish that I love here. The grilled fish. You can get, um, you know, bass. You can get green. You can get grouper. But probably the one that's most popular is lampuki. And lampuki itself, you're probably going to have a lampuki pie. And you'll have basically a, a fish pie with it, with the lampuki fish um, when you have that here. Lampuki, if you hear it in English, is called like dolphin fish, which kind of turns you off. So I find it tastes better when you just say, oh, it's, it's lampuki. But for me, actually, the fish soups, the fish stews, those are really good. I had one today for a lot show, which is phenomenal. I had clams in it or just, oh, any kind of seafood-based stew when you're here or soup, you won't go wrong with that. Even if it's a hot day like today, those soups are still really good when it's a seafood soup. Now, Malta also has its own kind of bread. It's called fatira. And you'll see like tuna fatira's place is basically the, the Maltese bread with tuna fish in it. Like you can have that, but the fatira, when you see it, it looks like kind of like almost like a bagel, but a little bit different, but it tastes different. It's got like a crispier outsider crust, really soft interior, does make for a very good sandwich. But sometimes you go to restaurants, they'll bring it to you like kind of like an appetizer first thing to go with your meal. But that fatira, you're gonna like that. And when you ever see like the kiosk on the side of the road, you're looking for a, a quick snack, They'll have those Fatira like sandwiches you can get. So that's a good like cheap option uh, when you are here. But in general, eating here is actually very affordable. Like the wines and the drinks and the food, you can eat really well here at a really fair price. Now, a lot of people, when they look up Malta, they see that it's like, yo, it's actually kind of by Sicily. So does that make it Italian? No, it is not Italian. However, when you go see the restaurants here, you will see a lot of Mediterranean restaurants, Greek, Italian, all kinds of stuff, Lebanese. But honestly, there's a lot of really good Italian food when you are here. So if you want to grab a good pizza or a good pasta, you can have that. Today, Liam had a pasta with rabbit ragu. It was phenomenal. I told you I had the ravioli that was made with the goza goat cheese. I mean, you can have really good pasta when you're here, really good pizzas when you're here as well. So I think that's why there's so many families that come here because mom and dad can eat well and so can the kids because they're going to have something for everybody, which is nice. But, you know, when you're here, you'll notice you're coming in the summertime. It is very hot. It is very humid. You do need to stay hydrated. You can drink the tap water here. It probably doesn't taste that great, but you can drink it no problem. But I do suggest getting bottled water at dinner, at lunch, at breakfast. And the fact that it's very fairly priced here, you're not going to mind getting those bottles of water because you do need them. Um, another beverage you might not have is their local soda, uh, Kenny. And Kenny, I don't know, when you have it, if you've ever had bitters for like adult beverages, it tastes like orange bitters, but as a soda, it does not have alcohol. It is a soda. But I'll tell you, I gave it to my kids. They had like one sip each. Like, I'm done. I'm like, oh, no, I've already had it. I don't need to have it again. So it's very much an acquired taste. I mean, you'll see signs that'll say traditional Maltese lunch, a Trinifatira sandwich, right? And then it'll come with a Kenny soda. 
I'm not the biggest fan of it, as you can tell, but that is something you should try. But I would get like one can and then see if you really like it before you get a six pack or a 12 pack. Um, speaking of 12 packs and six packs, the local beer here is called Chist. It's actually pretty good. Uh, you can get that when you're here if you're looking for that. But if you're looking for good adult beverages, they actually do very good cocktails here, but it's the Maltese wine that is the real winner. When you come here, Maltese wine is really, really good. And a lot of people don't know about it. You know Italian wines and French wines and Spanish wines, but you never really hear about Maltese wines. I mean, there's only like 400, 500,000 people that live in this island. Why would you have ever heard of it? But honestly, Maltese wine is a definite winner when you're here. Now, when you're going out to eat, I think another thing important to mention, when you're going to eat here in Malta, it's really important that you make dinner reservations even during the week because the cities are so crowded that the restaurants book out because there's just so many people, like population density-wise. So that's very important to do to make sure you get to have that rabbit. Or we've got some fantastic pork and beef here too and fantastic fish like we talked about. But honestly, it's important to get reservations. Also realize that service won't be super fast. I mean, you gotta have patience when you come to eat here in Malta because it is much more of a, you know, like the Italian, French, kind of Greek, kind of we eat for a while, we enjoy it. We talk with our family and friends and then we move on with our lives kind of thing. So just realize that service might be a little bit slower here. So you don't get upset with it. Just know that that's kind of the way. So when they're coming to take your order, Order your drink, over your, order your meal together just so it's going faster if you're in a hurry. If you're not, take your time and enjoy the kind of slower paced eating when you are here. And you will do the eating here. The people here would love to eat. Not going to lie to you. Maltese love food. They love to eat. So you'll do well when you're here with the food. Now, you know when you travel around, you know some flavors kind of come back again and again and again. It's like ketchup comes up a lot in Canada and, and mayonnaise comes up a lot in other places as well. Here, anise is kind of a typical flavor you might see in drinks here or in bread. So do be aware of that if you're not a black licorice flavored kind of person. It's not a lot of times, but it's enough that you'll notice it. So do be aware of that. And if you're looking for desserts, I mean, you don't have to worry about the anise, star of anise popping up too much. But a couple of nice desserts you have here. The bread pudding here is really good. But also the cannoli here, you know, the, the, the tube pastry that they stuff like the ricotta cheese in there and things. That's actually really good. I think the cannoli here are actually really good. So if you see one of those cannolis offered on dessert on a menu, don't be afraid to pick one up. And I wanted to show you, here's the here's the kind of goat cheese I was talking about. This is fantastic. The Kenny, you know, you have that. I mean, these are super traditional things from here in Malta. I'll be honest, if you come here to Malta, you're gonna eat very well at a very fair price. So when you come and enjoy this beautiful country, whether you're enjoying Valletta, you're going to Medina, you're gonna to go to Goz, you're gonna hit the beaches, Take it in the buildings, the church after church after church is here. Don't worry, you have plenty of time and plenty of food to enjoy while you're here. So, what are some other things you think we should enjoy here in Malta? If there's other things you love about the food in Malta, please put in the comment section below so we have more food that people can try with our here. I mean, I didn't even mention the beans they have here and the bean-based stuff you can eat. You know, I mean, there's, there's a ton more things here, but I thought for tourists, these are kind of like the most popular, like, tasty things you should try. Though, this isn't really tasty, but you should still at least try one. This is the whole family. The whole family, we still almost have a bottle left because no one likes it. But it's something Maltese you should try. It even says, bitter, sweet, refreshment. Yes, bitter, sweet, refreshment. Oh, it's Malta. Try it, all right? So every time I'll say bye from here in Malta.